Today we're going to upgrade the memory on your third generation Mac Pro. Before we begin, let's check the amount of RAM currently installed. You can check this by going to the top left corner of your screen. The first item under the Apple menu is about this Mac. It is common for Macs to be able to use more RAM than the system manual indicates. The system maximum can increase with new firmware updates or new versions of OS X. You can easily find the maximum RAM for your Mac at our website, ramjet.com, or by calling us at 1-800-831-4569. Installing RAM in your Mac Pro does not require any tools. First, shut down your computer by going to the Apple menu and select Shut Down. Once your machine is powered down, unplug all cables from the computer, including the power cord. After you shut down the computer, the internal components may be very hot. Let the computer cool down for 5 to 10 minutes before continuing. Some technicians prefer to lay the Mac Pro down, but we've found for this model of Mac Pro, it's easier to install the RAM with the computer upright. Hold the side access panel and lift the latch on the back of the computer. The edges of the access panel and the cage can be very sharp, so be careful when handling them. By doing this, you will be touching the metal case, and this will discharge any static electricity built up in your body. Once the side panel is removed, you will see a riser card. Grip the riser card by the tabs and pull it out. Place the riser card on a clean, flat surface, dim side up. To remove the dims, move the plastic ejectors on either side of the memory module by pushing them out to the side. Then gently remove the dims from the slot. The new memory will install into specific slots on the memory riser card for maximum performance. For this model of computer, we recommend that you install memory in a tri-channel configuration. This means that three of the same size modules are installed at a time. 8GB modules in a tri-channel configuration would look like this with three modules installed. This is 24 gigs total. And it would look like this with six modules installed, 48 gigabytes total. If you're mixing modules of different sizes, go ahead and install them and at startup, the memory slot utility will tell you the correct configuration. The memory is keyed so it will only install one way. Line up the notch of the DIM with the corresponding notch in the memory slot. Insert the DIM and push both ends of the DIM down until the clips on either side close on their own. You will not close these manually. Once you have your new memory seated, insert the riser card back into the computer. Push the card into place. You will hear a slight click when the card is fully seated. Then, replace the side panel. Finally, start your computer. When you start up your computer, the memory slot utility window may pop up. This window may tell you that your Mac wants to arrange your RAM in a different order. If this happens, shut down your computer and reinstall your RAM in that configuration. You can find out more about Ramjet by visiting our website, ramjet.com, or by liking us on Facebook.